<laughs> Don't go too far. Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be an update video for you all so you can see, uh, so we can explain where we're at uh, with everything that's going on in our lives. Because we haven't really explained where we're at. Uh, a couple uh, videos have been a little bit uh, sad new. We're going to try to update you and, and uh, bring up speed on what's going on. So we got a fancy dancy list here of some topics that we'd like to talk about today. So the first one is going to be our military move because I know we've had a couple questions and this may be what you guys mostly have questions about. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna start probably right from the beginning. So without going into too much detail on the entire process because I have to keep things quite vague uh, just to be okay. I found out where I was going uh, right before my course ended um, and there's not a lot of places for my trade to go it was out of like eight nine places that we could we could end up going um, but yeah I got uh, the place where we're at now which uh, wasn't on our list to go but um, it was okay with us because uh, due to everything going on in the world right now it just made it a lot easier and it was a smart it was more smart. It made more sense. Yeah, it was more. It made more sense to post us where we're where we got posted, um, and it definitely made it a little bit easier. Not that it was super easy, but it definitely made it easier uh, with the location that we ended up going to. I know some people um, they can get their posting. They find out where they're going like a couple weeks to a couple months after they finish course, depending on uh, what course they're on. Their once experience is completely different, so don't take my word for it saying, oh yeah, you're going to get it right after. It can be completely different. Some people can wait. It could be right after your course, or it could be a couple months after your course, depending on where they need uh, to fill, uh, fill those positions. So when I got my location, where we figured out what location we were going to, um, they gave me a date to show up, and uh, everything I was all planned for that date. It worked out pretty good um, with it. Uh, we did have to apply for housing, so we did get housing pretty much at about, uh, what was it, a month before we showed up? That part can be very stressful, especially if you're a spouse, um, because a lot of the time, especially right now, like at a lot of different locations, there isn't a lot of housing. So to get on the wait list can be a little bit tricky. Um, there's some ins and outs, and it depends how many people are in your family, and it's just, you can find out, like, right like right at the last minute that you're getting a house so so i would just say some advice like just kind of try to be patient it's very very stressful i was stressed but we got very very lucky we were number one on the list um it just just, just and it, it the base that we're at like getting housing is like pretty much unheard of it's usually like at least a six month to a year wait so for us, we just got really lucky, like just the timing of it. Normally they give you a month ahead just up because uh, you're supposed to have that uh, all yeah. sorted out before you move. We got lucky too because our lease on our apartment, our one year lease ended like that same month. So yeah, so anyway, so we got really lucky. So for our, for our situation, um, even though I was on the waitlist to get, a, get housing, I didn't stop and just focus solely on the waitlist. I looked and I was looking constantly for rentals in the area around where we uh, now are, as well as any um, houses that we could maybe possibly afford, maybe just in case, because you, you never knew. Yeah, you never know what's, what was going to happen. Um, and that, that was for sure uh, stressful. Especially if you have kids. So, but it's one of those things with the military, it's to hurry up and wait, which is kind of, Kind of the motto, and it's it's a good motto for the rest of your life. Because sometimes you don't know; it doesn't matter if you're military or not. Any job, if you get posted to or you get sent to a new uh, location, it's true. Right. So when we got the house, um, we had to set a uh, moving company and packers to come uh, deal with us and pack everything up. Um, that was stressful. A lot of it was last minute, and a lot of it was. Um, like telephone tag, like I had to constantly be telling, like calling people and making sure everything was was organized and paperwork that got lost and didn't get moved. Um, nothing to do, no faults on on the military. It was just uh, other companies that we were dealing with um, just made it super stressful for us to move. 
Um, but once we got everything booked, everything was going great. We had a good plan. We were all figuring, we were figuring everything out. And then, what was it, three days before we were, the Packers were supposed to show up, we came up here to look at the place and I got a phone call from the movie company asking if, from one of the Packers, asking if they could come the day that we were on, like on the road driving up. It was like, what, nine, ten o'clock in the morning? We were picking up the keys yeah. and it's a far drive and so it, the, these companies have nothing to do with the military. So, you know, it's not the military's fault, but depending where you are, you, they're just gonna, you're gonna use like a random company and uh, yeah, that part can be... It can be iffy. And yeah. like this packer called us the day, like while we were driving up, asking if we could come over and start packing. Same day. The and same day. And we were driving up and it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to show up for three days. They were pretty unprofessional. He and so and then he asked if he could come the next day because he didn't he couldn't get a second guy to help him pack our stuff. It was stressful for us because I had planned everything to be on a certain day. I was gonna move all our stuff from storage from my parents' place over to our apartment and load up the apartment, but I didn't have time. Also we forgot to mention so before we actually like started the whole process, um, a surveyor from that company came over to look at everything that we had. We walked them through the whole apartment. You guys know we only have a one bedroom apartment, so it really wasn't that big of a job. Um, so yeah, so someone came and they like checked to see like how much, how big of a truck they're gonna need, how many people they're gonna need. And in the end, it was just one guy who packed up our stuff. And our packing situation, I don't, every situation is different. So for us, it took two days for one person to pack our one bedroom apartment. It could have easily been one day. He just did it in half days, which made it harder for us. And it ended up making us have to get a second night at a hotel um, because we couldn't be there because he packed everything. He was, on the first day, he packed all our kitchen stuff up and all our toiletries. So it's not like we can cook and do anything in the kitchen. So we had to get a second hotel for that, which wasn't a big deal but it just caused uh, a lot more stress and uh, enough, <laughs> enough on the pack. Yeah. I could go on for a long time with this, it with was this interesting. packer guy. He was, a, he was a character for sure. So we went, so we picked up the keys and then a couple days after packer came and then- Packed for two days. Packed for two days, you guys saw we were staying in the hotel. Um, but yeah, I think the hard, the hardest part was that um, Caleb did have a bunch of stuff like he had his anvil, his welder, well not your welder, but what else? I had my anvil, forge, all my all my blacksmithing tools. tools, I had all my car jacks and car tools, my grinder, all, and a bunch of other stuff. Just yeah. stuff that wouldn't fit in our apartment we just kept in storage. We kept in storage at his parents place, but the thing is for us, they told us that we couldn't they weren't going to go to two locations, obviously, um, with, to move stuff. Sometimes they do when they leave allow it, but with uh, COVID and the company we're using, they wouldn't allow, allow, allow that for us. So I had to hand move everything over, which yeah. took like eight hours one night. Mm -hmm. And it was definitely, it definitely caused a lot of stress. <laughs> so then there's pack day, which was two days for us. I think usually it's just one day for packing, one day for moving, but again, every case is different. Also keep in mind if you have a full house of stuff it may take longer but we just had an apartment yet it still took two days so that's okay. Um, and then we had move day which was one day um, and so the movers, everything's packed up, the movers come, they take everything and that went pretty smoothly for us. That was really smooth, it really, it really helped. Those guys were definitely, they definitely knew what they are doing and they got it done very quickly. Uh, funny thing is uh, the lead mover apparently is friends with the family so that kind of helped. But no, that, that went really smoothly. Only thing is that their truck broke down, like right as they got there, so they couldn't start it or move it. So that kind of gave stress being like, oh, do we, like what's going to happen with all our stuff? It was just one of those things that was just like, yeah. It was quickly resolved and it was all good. And then we drove that same day. So again, like we didn't move very far. We didn't have to drive across the country. So it literally took us a few hours just to get to our new location. And then how long after we moved did all of our, like all of this stuff. So we actually ordered like all new appliances and a couch and a washer and dryer and that showed up the next day. So that's another thing. Um, if you're getting appliances, try to make sure that they come around the same day that you move or like the next day or a couple days. Um, so it was really nice 
Caleb really did a great job setting it up so that everything came the next day. So we had a fridge the next day and a bed. But again, a lot of people just have their own appliances that they move. But I'm mentioning that because it took about how many days for our stuff to come? Did it didn't say? take that long. It, it, took, it took, we packed up on a Friday. Our appliances came on a Saturday. Wednesday, I got a call that uh, our stuff uh, was going to be delivered. Yeah, so your stuff, depending on where you are, depending on the company, depends on a lot of different things. Weather, COVID, um, your stuff will come like a week or less or more. But anyways, the only reason why I'm mentioning that is because to be like to help you guys out, um, just keep in mind that your stuff isn't going to come the same day, obviously. And I think they tell you that um, at the beginning. They usually give an estimate. Yeah, and... for, but for us, <laughs> our estimate was really funny because it was like, yeah, we're going to be there. We're going to deliver your stuff within a week to two weeks of you of like packing. And I was like, really? It's only a three hour drive. <laughs> These situations are very unique, so like whatever oh. our story is, it's not going to be the same for you. So that's why we're kind of just keeping it really vague because we don't want to share too much, but also we don't want you to think that how ours went is exactly how yours is going to go. It's different either, either way. It doesn't yeah. feel like it, there's so many external factors on it. Um, ours just went really weird. It's good. It, but... it worked out like we did. We were lucky. None of our stuff got broken, and I think that's because we. We're moving very close to where we uh, packed. None of our stuff was broken. I've heard in, of horror stories of like the packers and the movers and like stuff goes missing or gets damaged, but we didn't have any of that. And also we didn't really have like things that were super valuable. Um, so yeah, so if you have any more questions about moving, like specifics that we can answer, because again, we can't answer everything, put them in the comments below and maybe we'll do like a Q and A or something like that. And we can try to answer as best as we can, but again, we don't want to we don't want to share too much um so yeah so i think that's it for the moving um aspect so that's one update that's done we have moved we're in a new house we're gonna do a house tour it's not quite done yet we still have to put up some stuff and unpack but how do we like our new house i enjoy it we love it it's it's <laughs> amazing yeah. when you move so this is a three bedroom house and we went came from a small one bedroom apartment if you if you've been following us for a while you, we did an apartment tour i'll link it below so you can compare the two once we do a house tour but yeah this is incredible we have a backyard now so it's so nice um to deal with well for us it's a huge house it's it's everything we need like we all have our own spaces we have two tvs now which we didn't <laughs> have before um but yeah, when we first got here, I spent a lot of money at Canadian Tire. I think I spent like three thousand dollars or more at Canadian yeah. Tire getting stuff between outdoor like lawnmowers and stuff like that. We wanted to make it comfortable. Like we've been waiting for so long, and we didn't buy a lot of things while we were living at the apartment because we were waiting, waiting, waiting. So we kind of did spoil ourselves a little bit, and Amelia got very spoiled as well. Um, so yeah, so. She yeah. has so much stuff <laughs> And I know like a lot of people don't like military housing and they do complain, but we're coming from such a small place. So I know sometimes people have owned homes and then they have to move into military or move into a different house um, because they've moved, but we're very, very happy and we feel very lucky. This is this is great. This is the best we've ever had uh, together. So we're we're happy. Like we don't, we don't depending, much. On, depending on how long we're here, I don't I don't foresee us either upgrading to a bigger place unless we have to, mm -hmm. or, have or, <laughs> or like we're moving because we want a different style or whatnot, or going and buying a house here. Like no. it's too expensive here as it is. So, and just on one salary alone, um, definitely can be challenging. But for this, it's easy. Like this, this is all we need. We're gonna make this the homiest home home we've ever. Home day. comfortable already. Yeah, we just gotta. We're just unpacking. We're yeah. majority about what would you say? I would say I would say done. about 80, 85 percent <laughs> is done. Yeah. Uh, we gotta hang up pictures. The basement is a disaster zone right now. We just gotta this work. This man cave. It's... We gotta. Well, we gotta work. I gotta <laughs> organize it because I have stuff in temporary places. Um. So yeah. So shortly after we moved in here. If you guys have seen our last video, um, we did have a miscarriage. So yeah, so I was pregnant uh, during the moving process and then um, shortly after we got here, that is when 
miscarriage happened, I had set up a new doctor and everything and we were all ready to go. Um, so yeah, so that happened. If you want to know the specifics, just I'll link the video below. But yeah, so we thought we would just update that, um, update you guys with that, that yes, I was pregnant, I'm not anymore. Um, hopefully we will be soon when we're ready, but yeah. We're gonna, it. we need to take some time. Yeah. Like, I definitely need time, like it still stings quite a bit. And I'm still working through it. We're feeling better each day. I mean, it still hurts and him and I both take these things kind of differently. Um, it's been hard on our marriage, but like, uh, we, you know, we've been through so much together as it is and we have Amelia, so we're just trying to look at what we do have and focus on that. And we're still really young. There's a lot going on. Um, Caleb's starting a new job, like we're just moving. So, so we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, we do appreciate all the comments um, and the everyone saying such nice things about that. So thank you very much for that. It really does does help us, um, especially hearing other people's experiences. So yeah, so that's that. We're not really gonna. I don't think we'll really talk about it much anymore, just because I think I'm ready to move forward. And we're gonna put it to bed. Yeah. So that's that on that. Um, and yeah. So now, like I mentioned, Caleb's job. I'm going to that without too much, giving away too much. Got a new job. <laughs> Getting trained in it. That's all I can say. Yeah. Training stressful. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a lot more information than what else. What? There's a lot more information. I'll just put it at that. Um, new area that I gotta learn. It's a lot, a lot of information. That's all I can say on it. It's just like any other new job outside of the military like it's a new environment new people and i'm just so glad that after so long he finally gets to do what he i'm in my dream job to do I'm, yeah i joined the military to do this job <laughs> i tried to do this job civilianly civilianly in yeah. the civilian world it didn't work um and uh, i can explain more of that in another video if you all want but uh i'm in my dream job now working on getting Getting it all done so I can do it perfectly. That's all I can say about it. And you know, he was so patient. He waited so long, and there were so many setbacks with COVID and everything like that. So we're just happy that he's working because I'm not working. So the next topic is what will I be doing? Yeah, so he's the one working. Our plan was I was just going to make more babies, but that didn't really. <laughs> so Based on the cards. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have more kids, obviously, when we're ready. But I think that was my main focus, which is being a stay-at-home mom, and that's still my main focus because I have Amelia. Don't want to pay money to send her to daycare when I can just be here. Um, you guys know I was in the airline industry, and you know what's going on with that right now with COVID. So I don't think that that is an area that I will go back to, and I don't plan on going to work anytime soon unless I mean we really need it. Unless we get really. Pooched. Yeah. But I don't, I don't see it happening. Everything's looking good mm -hmm. in that aspect. We're happy with how things are right now. So I have a couple little like things that I'm thinking about doing from home that we're happy with how things are now. Unless he tells me I need to get to work, then I'll do that. I'm but <laughs> but uh, Amelia is my, my job and it's a lot of fun. I love being a mom. Last and final topic for this update <laughs> is how we're liking our, our new town, our new place that we're living. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> I love it because it's funny, it's very close to where we were before and it's the same kind of weather and environment so I still get to go to the ocean. It's funny because this is a lot more like bushy, like we're more like up in the bush here which I love. It's not as busy. I checked to see if the town even has a movie theater. It has one movie theater which I was even surprised it has that. Um, so it's definitely like small town vibes like even smaller than the place we were before and i love that very 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 family oriented place which is awesome our neighborhood is great lots of parks and yeah like this is like a super like air force military town it's nice i feel like we fit in here a lot better our old neighborhood it was all like seniors and elderly and i felt like people kind of looked at us like what are you guys doing here and here obviously people don't and we've gone to like a few stores, like Canadian Tire, the dollar store, the grocery store, and the people are just so nice. I don't think I've ever been anywhere and had people be this nice. 
which is kind of weird in my <laughs> book, but no, this place is great. It's like family and friends of us have said, they're like, oh, this place is so you guys. <laughs> um, without giving away too much information, we're close to the ocean, we're really close to the mountains and the bush, like we're, we're 25 minutes away from uh, the mountain, which is great. We're in, we're in a good area where we want to be. Um, I didn't want, we didn't want to be here. I joined the military to leave this type of environment. <laughs> this wasn't our first choice, but believe it or not. Yeah. But you know, we can't, we, we have a pick, we have a say and we have a pick, but it worked out and made it, it makes sense. We're loving it here and we there's just, worse places that we could have yeah. gone. But yeah, no, we're, we're happy. The town is great. And with that though, we know that even though we like it here, it's always in the back of our minds that we know we're gonna be we're not gonna be here forever because we're in the military so we never really fully put our roots down here like we love it here and I think when we do have to move somewhere else we'll be excited because we're just we've been here for so long in the same kind of area. I've been here way too long in the same kind of area. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't really have like an attitude towards the fact that we have to we we have to move. Like that's just what comes with the job. So we're excited to see where this takes us we're happy to be here but we're also not going to be afraid when we get told we have to move also i wanted to mention this town is actually very diverse a lot more diverse than our other the other place we lived so super happy with that there's all kinds of people here and yeah it's just like a small small town a small town that has everything that you could think of it within a convenient amount of like time yeah. to get there yeah. like it takes us 10 minutes to get to canadian tire <laughs> it takes us three minutes to get to the grocery store like but the thing is like with that time difference it's not like you're driving down like main street downtown vancouver downtown victoria it's not like a you're city. driving yeah. through like the woods to get there <laughs> which is awesome in my book it's like three minutes away you're like in the woods but it's like three minutes away to like everything it's honestly it's it's awesome and we're gonna do a lot more exploring um we did go to the beach today which i think we're gonna include in this um video but yeah, if you guys have any questions or any like uh, video ideas Request. or requests, let us know. Um, we do have some other stuff we're working on right now for you guys. So yeah, so just let us know. And thank you so much for the support. We're so excited and happy that we can be back making content again because we did take a long break. And yeah. <laughs> Is it? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. If you want to see anything, put it in the comments. And if you guys want us to do a Q&A video, put that in the comments saying, please do a Q&A video. And then you can send your messages, your questions via this video or over on our Instagram, which we will probably link somewhere right here, here, or here area. Okay.